Hi there, this is a uh, response to another video on YouTube, and I guess came coming out of the forums, uh, asking about how to do a an animated Boolean kind of a thing in Lightwave with no plugins. And this does that. It's kind of a hack. It won't work in all situations, and it's an adaption of an older technique where you would take an object, make it a tiny bit smaller, flip the polygons, and uh, set it to be a matte object. This uses all surfacing, uh, which is possible now since Lightwave 9. Okay, so the setup here is I just have a tube with a, a null, and the tube has a clip map on it. As you can see here, is just a z distance to object, and the object is a null, so it's just a clip map. Uh, the reason we are not getting that kind of telltale cap in the middle where you can see inside the object is because of the surfacing so let me show you the surface settings because I don't need that um, normally this would look like you know pretty much just like this where you'd see the inside of the the object and this is set to the the polygons are set to double-sided so we can see it um, the way I'm getting around that, though, is I'm plugging the texture directly into the diffuse shading, which basically overrides all of the luminosity and the diffuse settings, so we don't see what's inside the tube. Um, I'm just using a solid color for that. So I ha have my texture map going into a Lambert shader, and if I plug my Lambert shader into the diffuse shading, then we pretty much get the same thing as we get if we have the normal light wave render. So I'm just using the Lambert to kind of bypass a normal light wave render. And in order to get the solid look, I'm just plugging a color straight into the diffuse shading so it just comes out as a solid color. So uh, I know this is kind of confusing, but anyway, I'm using a mixer node to combine the two. And I have the color in the background channel and the Lambert shader, which is my full textured version in the foreground color of the mixer node and I'm using the uh, polygon side right here to adjust the opacity on the mixer node so only what's on the inside of the uh, the inside polygons are just showing this flat shaded version or actually not shaded at all version um, I could also just plug this marble texture directly into the background and you can see it still works it's just we can see that uh, it's brighter and I can turn the brightness down but the texture is just kinda of slides with it and that's kind of a giveaway so that's why I just opted to go with the uh, the solid color so there you have it it's a, a fake boolean thing it won't work in all situations especially it'll definitely not work if you have uh, well let me just say it if you have geometry that penetrates the insides, you, yeah. Anyway, won't work in all situations. I'll leave it at that. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.